Now, before we dig into these five never before seen videos that have been exclusively sent in to us by our incredible viewers, we wanted to let you know that if you enjoy our videos and find value in our work, consider supporting us over on Patreon. Lots of our videos are not ad friendly and thanks to the Patreons, we're able to cover the topics you love, despite YouTube's ad rules not liking them. Not only will you be supporting our channel, but you will also get access to all of our exclusive full-length documentaries, like our brand new hour-long documentary on Unit 731, Japan's horrifying human experiments lab used during World War II, as well as all of our Murderous Minds documentaries that are not uploaded to YouTube all for just $2 a month, and you can cancel at any time. And now it's time to hit those lights, sit back, and enjoy. These next few clips were sent in by Loki, and he is convinced that something has latched onto himself and his fiance, and is now following them around. Loki is a skeptic by nature, but because things were getting a little too weird, he started researching the paranormal and performing experiments. Things came to a head a few years ago when he and his partner went to visit her sister in an extremely old building in Hastings, which is at the very bottom of the United Kingdom and is most famous for the Battle of Hastings in 1066. Lockie had never been there before, but his fiance had, and she was sure that it was haunted, as was her sister. So before their visit, they bought an EMF detector which are often used by ghost hunters to search for fluctuations in electromagnetic fields, commonly attributed to a spirit's presence. Shortly after arriving at the house, Lockie could hear noises and footsteps from the attic area. His fiancée's sister explained that when they first moved into the house, they searched the attic and found some bloody rags and several old items up there. Being keen to find out more, Lockie decided to use the spirit box up in the attic to see if he could pick anything up. Well, we have here a part of that recording session. Take a look. Is anybody there? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a name? Are you close at all? Why are you here? Where are you? Where are you standing right now? Whoa, I'm down in the kitchen. Are you down in the kitchen? No. Through the Turn around. Stairs. I'm gonna walk around if you could walk near the device, that'd be nice. Ever since doing this session and trying to communicate directly, Lockie and his fiancee have had all kinds of things happen to them that were not happening before this. Things like night terrors doors opening and locking on their own in their flat, and Lockie even heard something strange whilst live streaming, which he caught on video. Take a look. Ugh, finally. Oh, I'm gonna... Um... Oh, 
Nothing like indulging in a little bit of red wine whilst playing The Witcher 3, where I'm eventually going to be playing the blood and wine. Plus there's noises in my flat. I'm getting pretty sure this place is haunted. I'm pretty sure. Okay, continuing on. At this point, Lockie jumps up. He genuinely thought someone was in the flat. His fiancée was at work, so he was totally alone. Now, what you cannot see in this clip is that when he went into the hallway, he noticed that the bathroom door was wide open, even though it was always kept shut. There are no windows or doors in the bathroom, nor were any open in the flat at the time. What you can see here is Loki checking the fridge to see if anything had fallen in there, but there was nothing. At the time, he shook it off and had a glass of wine as he didn't want to embarrass himself whilst live streaming. But to this day, he is still not 100% convinced, although cannot explain the weird things that are happening. What do you make of it all? Roger's Cemetery. This next clip has come from a new ghost hunting channel called Parathrevident, who put together videos from their ghost hunting trips to various places around the United States. The team members are Bandy, Tobbs, and Ree, and they use a variety of ghost hunting tools to try and get validation from the spirit world and prove once and for all that there is life after death. Bandy from the team contacted us personally, and we asked him, of all the ghost hunting videos they had done, which one was the most convincing? He sent us a couple of suggestions, but the one we think is the most interesting was filmed in Rogers Cemetery in Arkansas during a midnight tour of the graves. Now, we did a bit of research into the cemetery and found nothing remarkable. It's not particularly old, and it's a large city-managed cemetery with approximately 2,500 grave sites and no reported paranormal activity that we could find. That is until now. The team initially used a variety of equipment to try and make contact with the dead with little success. That was until they honed in on a couple of infant graves using a Kinect SLS camera, and something extraordinary happened. Just for those who aren't aware of this piece of equipment, it supposedly detects spirit forms that cannot be seen with the naked eye. It has an infrared light projector with a monochrome CMSO sensor, that shows everything as dots arranged in 3D formation. The software sees people or ghosts by recognizing joints and movements. These then show up on the screen as stickmen. You may have seen this being used in ghost adventures. Now, we do not know how accurate or believable these cameras are, although a lot of ghost hunters use them, and it definitely picks something up. Whether it was the image of the restless children, well, that is up for you to decide. But check this out. Yep. Holy crap, what is that? We're sitting down. We're trying to crawl out of the grave. Hello. We can see you. Can you say something, Jack? Or Daniel? You weren't really, really. alive long enough. I know you can't say anything. I lost it. He, he lived one day. It looked like somebody sitting on the ground. Okay. Pretty strange. Exploration of the abandoned Moss Vale Grammar School. This next video was sent in by Adventures with Marley, an urban explorer from Australia who did an exploration of the abandoned and allegedly haunted Sydney Church of England Girls Grammar School in Moss Vale, New South Wales. To give you a bit of background on the school, it was the place where Lenny Lawson fled to in 1961 after raping and murdering his neighbour's 16-year-old daughter. Lawson was a successful comic artist and the creator of The Lone Avenger and The Hooded Rider, and when he murdered his neighbor's daughter, he had not long been let out of prison after he assaulted and raped five models he had been hired to photograph. When Lawson fled to the school, the staff recognized him as he had visited there a few weeks earlier, claiming to be a novelist researching a book set in a girl's school. 
However, on this occasion, he produced a gun and told the teachers and pupils he was going to hold them hostage. The brave headmistress struggled with Lawson and his gun went off, tragically killing a 15-year-old pupil. Lawson was convicted and jailed again, this time for murder. However, he still managed to charm his jailers and soon became chairman of the Inmates Arts and Crafts Society. And in 1972, helped host a concert group visiting the prison. But when they arrived, Lawson attacked a female member of the group, holding a knife to her throat before she was rescued by other inmates. The poor woman was reportedly so traumatized by the assault that she committed suicide a few years later. With all this in mind, Marley and his team approached the building with caution, and after they explored it, they believed some of the unexplained events they caught on camera could only be attributed to the paranormal activity linked to the murder. Take a look. So we've heard a door slam, but it might just simply be the wind, but we don't know yet. So we're trying to be as quiet as we can. At 7.42 in the video, they all heard very heavy breathing that seemed to come from around them. Although it's hard to hear on camera, they say it was very loud in person. They then proceeded to hear strange noises in the area Y'all heard that, yeah? Uh, oh, no, I don't like that at all. Dude. Sam. Huh? Come here. Just hold my camera. You're not going to get murdered. Hold my camera. Just hold my camera. So I can do this. At the time, they thought it was nothing, but after editing, what they thought they had heard at the time was definitely not what was recorded on the camera's audio. What do you make of it? And also don't forget to check out Adventures with Marley's channel. Haunted House in Kalamazoo. Stephanie sent this one in, and here is her story. Everyone always knew that Stephanie's aunt's home in Kalamazoo, Michigan, there were strange things that happened. It was most definitely haunted. Her parents had stayed there for a short period of time, right after she was born, and both her mum and dad witnessed a rocking chair start rocking on its own. After about 10 minutes, the chair just suddenly stopped rocking. It didn't slow down, it just abruptly stopped. After Stephanie's aunt died, the family were packing up the house when her mum heard someone trying to open the basement door. At first she thought maybe a cat was trapped and went down to let it out, but there was no cat. Stephanie's stepfather also had a strange experience in the basement. He had just moved a big heavy box and when he was done, he heard a male voice behind him say phew. He turned around, but no one was there. Later, he was looking at the jar lids all nailed to the ceiling of an old workspace and he said to himself, nice. And again, a male voice said, Yup, but no one was there. About a week later, Stephanie loaned her mum a digital recorder and she accidentally left it on after showing her mum how to use it. After realizing the device had been recording, they listened back out of curiosity and this is what they heard. You can hear Stephanie's mum say, if I break it, I buy it. But then at the same time, you can hear a male voice that says four words that sounds like, 
Be warned, he knows. Who the male voice belongs to is unknown. A few months passed and the whole family felt something strange in the house. So they had a local paranormal team come in and check out the house before it was sold. Here are some clips from their exploration. Oh, over here, there's something in the hallway. There's something in the hallway creeping. I know I heard it. I hear it at the same time I do. Come on. Come on out. You are not in this room. I know you just heard that. The back room, there's noises coming from back there. Who's up here? Did you guys just drop something on the floor? Did you guys hear that? No, that wasn't us. Nobody ma- I didn't hear anything and nobody's moving. It was like right here in this corner and I could Mount Misery Woods Anomaly. Sometimes when exploring a place, what is in front of you is not always obvious until you rewatch the footage. This is the case in our next video, sent in by Lynn. Lynn and her team were exploring the woods in Mount Misery, Long Island recording for her YouTube channel, Linfamous TV. Mount Misery is a rocky area that early colonists found near impossible to farm and that natives claim to be cursed. A great deal of paranormal activity has been reported at Mount Misery and the surrounding areas, especially in the woods and the road that runs through it. Visitors have reported visions of ghastly children and a woman calling for help, while others have smelled foul odors or blood and heard growling when no animals were in sight. Glowing orbs and shadow people are also a common occurrence, and Mount Misery Road is said to be one of the most haunted roads in the United States. So walking through Mount Misery Woods at night with nothing more than a flashlight and a camera takes a brave person. Take a look at this. Completely blocking out the sky. <laughs> Did you see that? While Lynn didn't at the time, and only noticed what looks like someone's head floating across the screen after she reviewed the footage. It's worth remembering it was pitch black in those woods, and the only light source was the camera and a torch. So was that the apparition of some unknown soul, or is there another explanation for the anomaly? Let us know what you think, and also don't forget to check out Linfamous TV's channel. So that's it for this video. We hope you've enjoyed these exclusive videos sent in by our incredible viewers. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.